Did you know that your bubble app has got two versions, at least two, depending on the plan, um, whether you're on a, uh, one of the, the premium paid plans or uh, on the personal plan? Um, in order to launch your app to connect up to your domain, uh, you need to be on the first paid plan, the personal plan. And what that unlocks for you is the ability to take your development version and deploy it to your live version. So your live version is the one that if someone was to go to your domain name, they would get access to. But if they were to go to, um, if I just use this as an example. Um, so I'm in my development version, my test version uh, in uh, the bubble editor. And then if I go to uh, preview it, I'm previewing the version hyphen test. So this is um, the one that I'm building. If I make changes in uh, my editor, these changes are reflected immediately on my uh, version hyphen test, my development version. If I want to uh, deploy changes to my live site here, um, then I have to deploy them. And I do that by going deploy current version to live, uh, writing a, a description um, and hit deploy. So now any changes that I've made in my development version are reflected in the live version. Um, this is not something that you get access to on the free plan. This is an app on, on the free plan and it's prompting me to upgrade to deploy and I have to choose uh, one of the, um, the paid plans in order to do that. Here are a few things to bear in mind uh, about the difference between the development and the live version. First of all, your database um, is uh, linked. So you have a development database. Here we see here in this, this uh, test app. Uh, this database, if I was to upgrade this plan and deploy it to live, um, then it wouldn't take this database with it. And this makes sense because you want to be able to create all your test users and, and test your development version, um, but your live users uh, are going to be completely separate. Uh, so you'd access that by switching to the live database. Um, and then in the bubble editor, you can make direct edits to the live database um, just by switching it here. You can also, um, in the bubble editor, uh, if I switch here to live, I can then view the contents of my site as it is in the live version. I can't make any changes. Um, it gives me that prompt there, reminding me that I'm in the live version that it's read only. But it can be useful for working out if there's a slight difference between the two versions or, or in the debugging process. And finally, my last tip, if I go back into uh, my test app here, um, this is something that I found really useful in conditions on workflows. Uh, if we just go onto one of these pages, um, you can get Bubble to tell the difference by using the uh, isn't live version. And it's a bit annoying that they use a negative in there. You kind of just have to work out the logic. So if, if I hit preview, There we go. Um, then it displays yes, because it isn't the live version. And so as well as printing this on the front end to test what this bit dynamic content does, um, I can put this in conditional statements and workflows. So in our Planet No Code app, where we, um, we have our video library, I've got certain processes, such as sending specific emails when users sign up, that I only want to take place uh, when the live, when a user takes the action on the live version. And I can use that statement to do so. So there we have it. That is an overview of the difference between the development version and the live version. I'd say the number one takeaway there is to recognize that you have those two versions. And then the number two takeaway is that the your database is specific to the version. Um, so don't, um, you can copy between them, uh, but uh, you, But if you've got a, a load of database types that are um, associated with each other, it's not going to work very cleanly. 
Um, so if uh, part of your app is to have like a, a, a large resource library, for example, then I'd recommend from day one building that in your live version rather than in your test version.